Hey guys, so today I am coming at you with a current favorites video. Um, it might be titled a February favorites video, but um, these are pretty much all the things that I am loving currently. So yeah, um, it's going to be really random. It might be kind of long, so definitely go grab a snack, go grab a drink. I have mine right here, um, and let's go ahead and get right into it. You guys, okay, you know how like you're having like a pretty decent day, like the outfit's okay, the makeup's good, but your hair, girl, I don't even know what's going on with my hair today. I tried and I was like... Not today, I can't do it. So we have a hat on today. So I hope you guys can see me. Like hopefully it's not too shadowed or weird, but I have to have a hat on today. Hair was just not happening. But if you hear this thing rattling, I'm gonna put this down. But this was like my first um favorite for especially February, if I do call this like a February favorites video. Um it's this guy right here. This is one of the uh February Starbucks cups that you can get at like Target or any of the Starbucks stores. But it is sparkly and pink, so I got it. <laughs> it is like literally my favorite color ever, and it's glittery, it's just amazing. So I do want to go ahead and share this with you guys in case they still have them at Target and Starbucks. So you guys can go pick one up if you like it. It is so cute, and I only put water in here, and I feel like it really does like help me drink more water because it's cute, and I want to drink it, and it's just, yeah. So that's the first favorite. <laughs> Okay, I set it down. I don't know, like, I'm going to try and do, like, categories because I feel like that'll be easier, especially for post me editing this video. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, like, stick with categories. I kind of start out with, like, skincare and then we'll move on. Um, so, one of my favorite, one of my new favorite things um, that I actually discovered a couple of weeks, well, actually, like, last week is when I got it. And I've been using it every single day since. And it is this line, it's this line from Ulta, and it's called Truly. And it is just like a little, it's a skincare line. I'll show you guys up close. But, let's see if you guys can see that. This is their eye cream. And it is so nice, you guys. And it's actually like, like pretty big, you know, like it's, pretty good pack it's really good packaging it's pretty big it is 1.8 ounces which is huge for an eye cream and I believe it's like 20 25 28 dollars but it is absolutely fantastic I have really enjoyed this eye cream recently and that's what it looks like on the inside it's really moisturizing um, which I have really dry skin and it is really moisturizing and I really really like it for that but I noticed that it actually um, stays with me for a very long time it does sink into the skin but I can still steal but I can still feel the moisture that it's giving me throughout the day because normally day to day I do not wear makeup this is like the first time I've had on makeup and I think uh well this is the first time I've had on like a full face of makeup in a little over a week for sure. Um, but most days I don't have on any makeup. I just have on my brows and um, maybe mascara. <laughs> but um, so actually today is the first day I've had this on with applying concealer and foundation. And it applied beautifully. In fact, I feel like it applied better than normal. Um, so it is definitely a favorite and if you are in the market for a new eye cream i highly recommend it it's really good and i got that at ulta the other thing from that line because i was just really interested in it because it's all natural um there's no like weird chemicals that you can't pronounce in there like literally i'm going to show you this guy right here this is the hemp oil facial serum it has hemp seed oil ginseng vitamin a and amino acids these are, it's a vegan, clean, high performance, animal cruelty uh, free, made in the US, um, harsh chemical free, like all the good things. So I was very interested in this line that Ulta started carrying. I'll show you guys. That's what it looks like. And this one is 1.7 ounces. And again, I think it was around, I think it's $25. It was there and I've had this for about a week. And again, I can tell that it like, my skin is very moisturized throughout the day. Like I said, I do have dry skin. And I feel like my skin feels 
very moisturized and luminous. I can tell like that it's not doing bad things. Like my skin has not even been clogged or anything like that. I haven't had any new breakouts since I started using it, which is amazing considering I am in the middle of PMS Central right now. <laughs> but um, it has not made any breakouts happen. I really, 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 really like this one. Um, so totally recommend this. It is amazing. Um, yes, I, I really like this line so far and I'm very excited to continue to use these products and see how they perform because they're not super expensive, which is amazing because we don't want to spend like tons and tons of money on stuff. And I like that there's really good ingredients in here and I will link all this stuff down below so you guys can look at it for yourself. But yeah, uh, so far, so far so good. Really, really like that. So, like I was saying, um, I'm kind of like PMS Central right now, <laughs> but um, to combat any of the breakouts that you get around this time of the month, I have been going nuts with this guy again. This is from 4th Ray Beauty. It is their Big Detox Mud Mask. It is literally almost completely gone. I love this mask, you guys. It's $12. I believe it's still $12. And it's amazing. It has tea tree and charcoal and it just kills breakouts and it makes your skin super like tight. Um, not in like a dry way, but in a, like it tightens your pores kind of a way and it just, your skin's gonna look amazing and it feels really good. Again, no weird breakouts. I love this stuff. Definitely go check this out. If you are having like any weird like breakouts or anything like that and you want to clear it up, this right here will totally do it. It is so good. I'm kind of going out of order. <laughs> but um, this right here, this is the Good Molecules um, Brightening Toner. I'll show you guys this one. Um, I've been using this for a while. I've had this for a couple of months now. It was sent to me um, from them. Thank you, Good Molecules, because I absolutely love this toner. And it, again, um, it has ingredients that actually help kill breakouts and brighten your skin has vitamin C in it um, which is going to help brighten and give lots of um, it takes down like a lot of uh, dark spots that you might get from breakouts or whatever um, and I really really like it and my skin you guys when I put it on my skin is glowing like literally glowing and that is like all I get asked for um, so this right before I put on um, my serum game changer so good my skin looks amazing and i am here for it so definitely really really good i think it's again this is like 15 or something like that it's really inexpensive and amazing i mean i've used quite a bit of this one this one is that there's um good molecules again this is their silicone free priming moisturizer oh my god i cannot say enough good things about this Be this i was using um by itself before I got this recently and it works really good like again it keeps my skin very moisturized it has really good ingredients that is something I've um, really been paying a lot of attention to is what is in certain things that I'm using because um, my skin I just recently got over having really really awful cystic breakouts and I switched a lot of my skincare over to stuff like this that doesn't have bad ingredients in it and that you could read everything that's in it um and i have noticed a huge difference you guys and i really really love this line and i'm really liking this one too so and again they're really really inexpensive stuff which i'm all about so um yes this good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer amazing especially if you have sensitive skin it's wonderful super moisturizing it stays with you all day <clears throat> so one of my favorite moisturizers for my body is the Sol de Janeiro. This is an oldie but a goodie. Like, I feel like everybody knows about this. It's amazing. It's at Sephora. Um, I got this for Christmas from my sweet husband. And I love this stuff. The smell. <sighs> the smell is so iconic, I feel like. And it is truly one of the best body creams I have ever used. I have been getting really really rough skin my hands for i don't even want to show you my hands my hands are bleeding and cracking and 
this weather is just making my whole entire body like itch <laughs> so this moisturizer has really helped me um, even though it does have a fragrance in it I don't feel like it actually hurts my skin at all which is amazing because a lot of people with eczema or anything like that know that like a fragrance usually can hurt your skin I have not found that this one hurts me I just really love this scent and I'm, I'm happy I can still use this um, and I just absolutely love this stuff. So if you guys are in Sephora and you want to like smell this, please do. It's amazing. You will just, you, you want to slather your whole body in this. It's really good. I want to go ahead and talk about some makeup favorites really quick. This one right here is, I got this actually in January. And this is the Born to Go, Born to Go. Born to Glow concealer from NYX and um, at first I had like a love-hate relationship with this it was okay but I wasn't like super into it but the more I've used it and especially with having the right skincare going on I actually really really like it and I like that it actually is pretty thin of a concealer it's not very thick you guys can see that's it right there it's got a little bit of a luminosity to it which I like again because I like super glowy skin I don't like to be super matte ever um, but I do like that it has like a glow to it it does sit down pretty nicely and um, it helps cover a little bit but I will tell you guys I go in with my elf camouflage concealer a lot and I'll go in with that one a little bit on like my darkest darkest circles and then I'll go over um, with this guy a little bit just to like kind of blend it in because the elf is a little bit too light for me and this one is just at my skin tone I was not expecting to find and like so much is what I have on right now it is what I drew my wings on with today this is the NYX epic ink liner I don't know why that was hard for me to say but yes this is the epic epic ink liner god I don't know I guess it's because it looks like an L and I'm like wanting to say link or something I don't know but besides this point this is it right here and it's just like a felt tip um, liner and it is super black which I love and it's not watery which is a huge deal with liquid liners I feel like they can be kind of watery or not opaque enough and then you're left with a huge mess but this one is not like that at all I love it and it's not a matte but it doesn't dry shiny if that makes sense um, so it's just like really really good liner and again it's like a little felt tip it's not necessarily a marker it's almost it's almost a brush tip I would say almost but um this is an absolutely amazing liner i have never drawn my wings on as easily as i did today with this and i've used it one other time as well and again super easy beautiful like perfectly black it is like all, i wouldn't say waterproof but it definitely stays on all day it looks amazing i literally have found my new favorite um liquid liner and I cannot go back this is amazing you guys so definitely go check this out so another one that I have is from Maybelline this is the falsies lash lift mascara and it is the only thing I have on right now I don't have any falsies on right now which I usually always film with falsies but honestly I ran out of glue I didn't feel like buying any more there you go um, but I have loved this mascara it is so good and it gives you so much volume it gives you length it's not super clumpy. I love this mascara. It is definitely a huge favorite. And let me show you what the wand looks like. The wand kind of reminds me of the Better Than Sex mascara or even the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. How that wand looks like. It looks a lot like that. And I've just been really enjoying this. I think it works amazing and I haven't had a problem with it at all. So definitely go check this out if you are in the need for a good mascara that is going to give you lots of volume and look super super good <laughs> okay so let's talk about brows real quick one of my favorite brow pencils of all time is this right here this is the covergirl eyebrow pencil and it is in the shade rich brown this is a game changer for me because if you guys know if you guys have watched me for a little bit you know i used to use the unique um 
eyebrow palette which was powder and wax and I've just recently switched to using an eyebrow pencil and this is the best pencil I've ever used <laughs> it is so good the tip is really fine a lot like the Anastasia or the benefit one and it does have a really nice spoolie as well so you can blend out your brow hairs and everything it's what I have on now I have slept in this you guys and I have woken up with my brows on that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> it did not end up on my pillow. I don't know how, but it didn't. Um, so, I'm not saying get it for that reason, but if you're in a pinch, it works. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely go check this brow pencil out. It is amazing. They have tons of colors. Um, it's perfect. I, I, I mean, it's not too waxy. It's not powdery. It just goes on beautifully. It gives you, like, perfect eyebrows, like... And it's like seven dollars i think like amazing i am so freaking obsessed with this and i had to tell you guys about it it's so good go check this out i feel like i've been talking a mile a minute oh my god it's only been 21 minutes that's pretty good i feel like i can't do a favorites video without talking about these guys <laughs> okay 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 these our house shoes from Ugg. I got these for Christmas. <laughs> I feel so weird. I got these for Christmas um, this this year, this last year, and um, I have been wearing these non-freaking-stop. Like, literally, I don't even know. Um, these are amazing, and I like them because they definitely have, like, not like a heel, but they're kind of like a platform, and it gives me a little bit of height, and I love it because I can reach the stuff in my cabinets now when I'm in the kitchen. So I only wear these like downstairs because um, my floors downstairs are like ice, icicles, literal, literal icicles down there, and so like these huge game changer, super cute, love, I just love I love it like I feel like leopard print is so so big and these are so cute so thank you mother-in-law for buying them for me for Christmas I love them love them so cute here's where it gets random <laughs> well okay if it didn't already start random like you guys know like this I love this so much okay. my most probably I don't know like the probably the most random thing I have to show you guys is this right here this is my label maker I've never felt more like Monica from friends in my life until right then but yeah I have a problem <laughs> I love my label maker it is like literally my favorite thing ever I recently went through my kitchen And, um, yeah, I'm really excited to get some more things to label because it's amazing. And I got it on Amazon, and I will link it for you guys below if you guys are interested. But yes, love this guy right here. And I like how small it is, too. Like, you can just take it with you. <laughs> I won't do that. I did not grow up with video games at all. Um, I had like a little joystick game. You remember Spongebob? Well, I had the little Spongebob joystick game. If I could find a picture, I will show you guys. Um, but that's what I had is video games. My husband, on the other hand, has like a PS4. Um, he had like all the video games. He, you know, grew up playing video games, you know, and I didn't. And so what he did was, um, he bought us a Switch and this is like the little handheld console version of it right here which you know we have like the thing where you can like play on the TV and everything but what I love about this one is and I don't know I guess they're all like this I don't know but what I love is that you can literally just take it with you and play and right now we are playing Pokemon Sword I believe it is yeah so right now this is what our little queue is looking like this is what we have going on um we have Pokemon Sword, Zelda, Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart Deluxe. Like, you guys, this has literally changed me. 
<laughs> I have never really cared for video games in my life until we had this thing. And I kid you not, I play Pokemon literally every single day. Like, especially when I get home from work and I'm like tired and blah, I'll like play and I'll go catch Pokemon and train them and everything. It's like so much fun. Being a kid of the 90s and watching Pokemon my entire life, like getting to train my own and like battle, like you guys. It's amazing. <laughs> I feel like such a nerd. <sighs> but it's good and I love it. So yeah, don't judge me too much, but literally love this thing so much. And yes, if you have a friend who has a Switch, go play. It is so much fun. I literally had video game fear because I don't know how to work controllers and stuff. Okay. And you guys, I literally beat my husband at Super Smash Bros. I did it. I did it twice, actually. <laughs> so, you guys, it's so much fun, and, and I just love it. It's 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 amazing. So, um, that is probably one of the more the more random things in this video for sure. But definitely has brought me the most joy in the month of well, we got it in January. So January and February, this has brought me the most joy, and it has been so much fun to like beat my husband at something. It's a lot of fun. I have recently started reading books again and um, for a while I was doing Audible and I still love Audible, of course. I like listening to stuff in the car, especially when I go to work and everything. But I have recently um, bought a couple books on my Kindle and I also have a physical book as well, which I'll show you guys. But, um, so this is what my Kindle queue <laughs> is looking like right now. If you guys can tell, I kind of have like a theme. <laughs> I love um, fantasy books. I love, um, well, yeah, I mean, pretty much just like all the fantasy YA novels. Like, I love that kind of stuff. It's easy to read. It's fun. It's fast paced usually. Um, so that's the kind of stuff I love to read. And so I recently read the entire series, almost the entire series of Holly Black's um, I guess it's like the the Cruel Prince series or whatever it is, but it's the Cruel Prince, the Wicked King, and the Queen of Nothing, which are the very the first three here at the top. I just got the Queen of Nothing last weekend, and um, I haven't really read too much of it, but um, the first two books I read in a week, so I got those, and I've really been enjoying that. And this is the most recent book that I bought. Again, I bought this Saturday. Um, this is. Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. Moss, whatever. Um, anyways, love, 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 love this whole series. I've read all of this. <laughs> I've read all of these books here, and I've also read her other um, series she came out with. And she writes amazing books, and I love her characters. They're just amazing. Like, I feel like you just know her characters, and you just I love her stuff. Okay guys, so literally I think that is all that I have for this favorites video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys got some good recommendations, hopefully. Um, I hope you guys like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell notification for my channel whenever I upload so you guys don't miss anything. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.